Hey, what's going on guys? It's Fade here, and today, as promised, I'm bringing you guys a Bakura level 40 farming video. And let me just start off by saying that Bakura is honestly the hardest person to farm so far in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Um, probably by now, I would have been far past 2,000 of the score which I'm at right now. Well, or actually not 2,000, 2 million almost. Um, I would have been done with this event, but this event has been such a struggle that like, I had, um, so this event uses uh, 10 sided dies, right, for um, for battling Bakura. So I stacked up on 300 this morning, and whatever, after work, I was like, okay, it's time to farm him out. I got up to, basically, d back down to like my last farming attempt, and nothing. There's two decks that I use. Um, one of them is just for, basically just if everything else goes wrong, I basically turn to that deck because it's not really that good of a deck, but like, I don't know, I just think that it would like, maybe like turn around the odds, but it really doesn't. But there's basically just one deck that I use, um, I'm gonna get right into it because I don't want to waste your guys' time. Um, so yeah, um, this deck... Basically, you'll see right here in this re dual replay, which I got earlier today. Um, it um, It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's it's kind of different from any other farming decks that I have ever used, or probably what you guys have ever used. Um, basically, this deck revolves around building your labyrinth wall at the beginning of the duel. Sorry about that. Um... And yeah, basically just, uh, so you're you're already at the beginning of the duel, you're at a card disadvantage because you shuffled in two cards into your deck, so basically you need at least one, I, I would say at least one shard of greed because that would already give you a plus two. Um, I, I run three because I have three, but if you guys don't, you could substitute a shard of greed for either another dimension gate if you're lucky enough to have three of them uh, I, I'm running two in here because obviously I'm running an extra two shard of greed. Um I only have two disappears here which basically just gets rid of his necrofear out of his graveyard but um, you can always run three you could just you could just only run one shard of greed or as a matter of fact, you could just take out the two Jar of Greed, but I find that they are pretty, um, pretty useful throughout the throughout the farm. Um, let's say, like, just in case you know that he set a man eater bug, you know, you pop your Jar of Greed and you draw a Dimension Gate, and you're, you're saved. So, I don't know. Um, dimension Gate is very useful as it is used for the remainder of the duel, um, unless. Um, unless Bakura some uh, tributes for his Hades or Hades, um, and equips both um, both of uh, both his um, his sword, um, I forgot what it's called um, right here. Uh, the Sword of Dark Rites basically just boosts it up uh, by like 600 attack, I think, and it goes over your labyrinth wall. But other than that, he can't get over your labyrinth wall, so. Um, also, this deck has the Cat of Ill Omen, which I think you get by farming a Shizu. Or not farming a Shizu, but leveling up a Shizu. Um, basically, you just... Well, I if the effect goes off, um, you could basically just put any trap card on the top of your deck, so you draw it next. It is pretty useful at the beginning of the farm. Not here, obviously, where he already has Hades and just keeps attacking. So basically, you just you always want to be destroying his ectoplasmers. He has one um, burning land, which kind of sucks. But yeah, he just has four of those um, four cards that you have to look out for, and hopefully you just have a bunch of wild tornadoes or twisters or even um, even a uh, D spell. <clears throat> um, and yeah, basically just on the last turn, you. You fuse um, your two monsters for your um, for your fusion monster, and basically just gift of the martyr. But first, secret pass the treasures onto your piranha, and that brings you to five thousand. And when you tag directly, it's uh, ten thousand. 
So <clears throat> this is, um, I believe, over 7,000. I believe if you run a Prismatic in this deck, just for the point, you will go above 8,000. But I know that in this particular attempt, it was only, um, it was only 7,500, I believe. But yeah, guys, um, that was the Bakura level 40 farm. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want the other deck, which isn't that consistent, um, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll put it in the description, maybe. Like, I'll just leave the deck list. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, if you dislike, you know, um, dislike it. But yeah, guys, if you're new, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.